to search what has in the wrong area. We never have peace until we know where they are. Throughout the history of aviation, there have been countless incidents of airplanes vanishing without a trace, leaving behind unanswered questions and fueling our fascination with the unknown. Now, most of the time, these disappearances can be explained by things like bad weather, technical problems, or just plain old human error. But every now and then, there are cases that make you think there's something more going on. And that's where the Santiago Flight 513 comes in. Watch this video to the end to know what happened with this plane. Now, let's set the scene for this wild ride. Picture your average commercial flight, nothing too out of the ordinary. It's packed with 88 passengers and crew members, all heading off to their own adventures. We're talking families on vacation, business travelers, the whole shebang. They were just going about their day, blissfully unaware of the insane roller coaster ride they were about to go on. Little did they know, things were about to get seriously strange. It's September the 4th, 1954, just an ordinary day, or so it seemed. Santiago Flight 513, a commercial plane taking off from Aachen, Germany, was getting ready for its routine journey to Santiago, Chile. The plane was packed with 88 passengers and crew, ready to take to the skies and reach their destination. Little did they know, they were about to be part of one heck of a mystery. Out of nowhere, without any warning, Santiago Flight 513 vanished from the radar. Poof! Gone. Just like that. All communication was cut off, and it was as if the plane and everyone on board had been swallowed up by some kind of black hole. The aviation experts were scratching their heads, trying to figure out what the heck had happened. They searched high and low, hoping to find any trace of the missing aircraft. But it was like looking for a needle in a haystack. Aviation experts were totally stumped, and you can imagine the crazy theories that started flying around. There's a million different theories that people could tell you, but one of them is right. Some folks thought that maybe the plane had got caught in some gnarly turbulence or had some kind of major malfunction. But hold on to your hats, because things get even weirder. Whispers started spreading like wildfire. People started talking about extraterrestrial abductions and alternate dimensions where time and space play by their own freaky rules. I'm talking about some serious out there stuff. And hey, who knows? Maybe there is some truth to it. Maybe Flight 513 stumbled upon a glitch in the Matrix or got sucked into a hidden dimension where reality is all kinds of wonky. The aircraft, a modern and well-maintained commercial airliner, took off from Aachen, Germany on that fateful day, bound for its destination in Santiago, Chile. The weather conditions were reported as calm and unremarkable, with no foreboding signs of impending trouble. As the flight cruised over the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, its passengers settled into their seats, engrossed in conversation, reading, or perhaps simply contemplating the destination that awaited them. Little did they know that this would be the last leg of their journey as they knew it. Suddenly, without any warning or indication, Santiago Flight 513 vanished from radar screens, disappearing into the depths of the Atlantic. The air traffic control tower, accustomed to monitoring the steady stream of aircraft, now found themselves staring at an empty space where the flight once resided. There were no distress signals, no emergency calls, nothing. It's like the plane was plucked right out of the sky, leaving no trace behind. The massive ships were scouring the ocean, radar systems were getting a thorough examination, and investigators were interviewing anyone and everyone who might have seen something. But guess what? Not a single piece of debris, no signals, no solid evidence. It's like this flight disappeared into some kind of Bermuda Triangle type situation. The experts and investigators were scratching their heads big time. No distress signals, no trace, nothing. It was a total mind boggler. This wasn't your average flight gone wrong. The lack of any logical explanations, combined with the total absence of physical evidence, just added fuel to the mystery fire. Santiago Flight 513 pulled off the ultimate disappearing act, and people were left wondering what actually happened over the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Fast forward 35 years to October the 12th, 1989, and we got ourselves an unexpected twist. The air traffic control tower at Porto Alegre Airport in Brazil was minding its own business when BAM! They spotted something weird on their radar screens. An unidentified aircraft just popped out of thin air, 
totally out of the blue. Can you imagine the shock and disbelief? It's like Santiago Flight 513 decided to make a comeback from the abyss of aviation history. The whole airport was buzzing. Airport officials were on the edge of their seats, hearts racing, as they tried to make sense of this eerie situation. Was this some kind of ghost plane or a time-traveling aircraft? Nobody had a clue, but one thing was for sure. The legend of Santiago Flight 513 was back in the spotlight, and the mystery was far from over. As the airport security team sprang into action, a sense of both trepidation and excitement filled the air. Theories swelled among the personnel about the possibility of an unusual event unfolding before their very eyes. They cautiously guided the aircraft to a designated gate, not knowing what they would find inside. On one of the biggest mysteries of aviation. As the airport security team approached the aircraft, that they discovered the shocking truth. It was indeed Santiago Flight 513, the very same flight that had vanished 35 years ago. But what awaited them inside the cabin was a scene that would forever haunt their memories. As the security team made their way through the eerie stillness of the aircraft, they were met with a bone-chilling sight. The passengers and crew who had boarded the flight all those years ago sat in their seats, frozen in time, their bodies reduced to nothing more than skeletal remains. The whole cabin, once alive with chit-chat and the hum of the engines, was now an eerie graveyard, frozen in time. Time had literally stopped, freezing the memories of those poor souls who embarked on this ill-fated trip. When news of this discovery spread like wildfire, the aviation community and the entire world were left in shock. It's like they were hit with a tidal wave of questions without any solid answers. How did all those skeletons end up there? What went down during those 35 years? But wait. It gets even crazier. The fact that they found the remains only deepened the mystery surrounding this flight. It's like we're trapped in some twisted detective story with no clear resolution in sight. The unexplained events surrounding Santiago Flight 513 have cast a dark and haunting shadow over the whole thing, leaving investigators and the public scratching their heads and wondering what actually happened. This is some next-level darkness and intrigue. One popular theory was that the plane crashed into the ocean and sank like a rock. You know, a tragic accident that wiped out everyone on board. They say maybe there's no physical evidence left because the wreckage was deep down in the Atlantic, making it almost impossible to find. And the fact that there were no distress signals or emergency calls? Well, maybe the whole thing happened so fast, the pilot didn't even have time to make a call. You know, just one big disaster. But hold on a second, this theory doesn't explain everything. Like, how in the world did this plane magically reappear 35 years later in Brazil? And what about the freaky preservation of those skeletal remains? It's like something out of a sci-fi movie. That's why some folks are diving deep into the supernatural and time warp stuff, trying to wrap their heads around this mind-boggling mystery. Some theorists suggest that Santiago Flight 513 encountered a rift in the fabric of time, propelling the aircraft into a different era or parallel dimension. They speculate that the passengers and crew may have unknowingly traversed through time, frozen in their seats while the world outside continued to move forward. The appearance of the aircraft in Brazil, untouched by the passage of time, is seen as evidence of a temporal anomaly. Paranormal explanations also emerged, with some suggesting that the flight became caught in the grasp of supernatural forces. They proposed that the souls of the passengers and crew remained trapped within the plane, unable to move or find release. This perspective considered the idea that there were unseen forces at play, defying the boundaries of our understanding and leaving us with more questions than answers. Another conspiracy theory proposed that the reappearance of the flight was linked to extraterrestrial encounters or interactions. Some believed that the government was aware of the existence of otherworldly beings or unidentified flying objects, and their silence was an attempt to protect this knowledge from public scrutiny. Supporters of this theory argue that the skeletal remains found on the plane might not belong to the original passengers, but rather to alien beings or clones. A more sinister speculation suggested that Santiago Flight 513 was intentionally made to vanish as part of a clandestine operation. This theory stated that the government or a secretive organization orchestrated the disappearance to carry out covert missions or experiments. The return of the aircraft may have been a result of an unforeseen glitch or an exposure of their hidden agenda. Santiago Flight 513 got people going nuts with curiosity and the government. Well, they were playing the silent game. 
You'd think that they'd at least throw us a bone or two, but no, they kept their mouths shut tight. And you know what that does? It gets our minds racing and gives birth to all sorts of crazy conspiracy theories. I mean, come on, it's like they want us to believe that there's more to this story than meets the eye. Seriously though, the fact that they won't even acknowledge what happened or give us any explanations raises major red flags. It's like they're hiding something big, you know? Makes you wonder if there's some kind of government cover-up or secret experiments involved. But hey, let's not get too carried away with the wild theories. We're stuck here trying to make sense of the whole Santiago Flight 513 enigma, and it's not an easy task. We're left in the dark, grasping at straws and digging deep for any hint of hidden knowledge or undisclosed truths. The government's choice to keep the details under wraps has sparked disappointment and frustration among the public. Many people have expressed their dissatisfaction with the lack of transparency, demanding a full disclosure of the facts surrounding the reappearance of the flight. Protests and demonstrations have erupted, calling for the truth to be revealed and accusing the authorities of a cover-up. Well, on the other hand, some brainy scientists have this wild idea that the plane might have accidentally stumbled upon a wormhole during its flight. Can you believe that? Like, imagine the plane just cruising along and bam, it gets sucked into a cosmic tunnel or something and pops out in a totally different place or time. Mind-blowing, right? Now here's the deal with these wormholes. They're not proven or anything, but scientists think they could be these theoretical structures that connect crazy faraway points in space-time. Picture them as these epic shortcuts, like cosmic bridges or tunnels, that could make travel across the universe way faster than you can say, beam me up, Scotty. Seriously, it's some mind-bending stuff. Of course, all of this wormhole business is based on scientific theories and math wizardry. Einstein, the genius behind the theory of general relativity, had some thoughts about these wormholes too. He figured they could be possible, at least according to our current understanding of physics. So, while we're not 100% sure if they exist, these wormholes are definitely keeping the scientists' imaginations fired up. Who knows what other mind-boggling discoveries are lurking out there in the cosmos, right? This hypothesis suggests that the flight may have experienced a brief disruption in space-time, allowing it to transcend the boundaries of ordinary travel. If such an event occurred, it would explain the sudden disappearance of the flight from radar screens and the absence of distress signals or communication from the pilot. What planes don't do is just vanish off the face of the Earth. The plane might have passed through the wormhole, traversing space-time in a manner beyond our current understanding. The implications of manipulating space-time and harnessing the power of wormholes, if they exist, are profound. It would potentially revolutionize our ability to explore the universe, enabling us to travel vast distances in significantly shorter periods. Interstellar travel that once seemed like science fiction could become a reality, opening up new frontiers for human exploration and expanding our understanding of the cosmos. However, manipulating space-time in such a manner also raises significant ethical and practical considerations. The potential consequences of tampering with the fabric of the universe are not fully known. It's essential to carefully navigate the implications of such discoveries to ensure that our exploration and manipulation of space-time align with our values and the preservation of our world. As scientific research continues to delve into the mysteries of wormholes and space-time manipulation, the story of Santiago Flight 513 serves as a captivating reminder of the possibilities that lie beyond our current understanding. It beckons us to explore the frontiers of scientific inquiry, pushing the boundaries of what we know and challenging our perception of the universe in which we reside. The link between Bruce Gurman's encounters in the Bermuda Triangle and the vanishing and reappearance of Santiago Flight 513 adds another layer of intrigue to the enigmatic nature of unexplained phenomena. Bruce Gurman is a pilot and author who claims to have survived a time warp within the infamous region. Gurman's experiences offer a unique perspective on unexplained phenomena and shed light on potential connections to the enigmatic disappearance of Santiago Flight 513. In December 1970, Gurman embarked on a flight from Andros Island in the Bahamas to Miami, Florida, a relatively routine journey through the heart of the Bermuda Triangle. However, his flight took an unexpected turn when he encountered what he described as an electronic fog. This dense and swirling cloud appeared to envelop his aircraft, distorting his perception of time and space. Gernon reported that as he flew through the electronic fog, his instruments malfunctioned and he experienced strange distortion in his surroundings. The sky above him seemed to 
morph into a tunnel-like vortex with flashes of bright light and disorientating sensations. Despite the chaos unfolding around him, Gernon maintained control of his aircraft and emerged from the foggy anomaly, eventually reaching his destination. Based on his experiences, Gernon coined the term electronic fog to describe the mysterious phenomenon he had encountered. He theorizes that this fog is a natural weather occurrence unique to the Bermuda Triangle, capable of distorting space-time and causing disruptions in navigation and communication systems. Connecting Gernon's story to the disappearance of Santiago Flight 513, we can speculate about the possibility of a similar occurrence. If the flight indeed encountered a time warp or entered a wormhole, as previously discussed, it's conceivable that it passed through a similar electronic fog phenomenon. This fog might have played a role in distorting the flight's instruments, communications, and ultimately led to his disappearance and reappearance. So, you must have known about the Bermuda Triangle by now, right? That place in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean where ships and planes seem to vanish into thin air? Well, it turns out there are a couple more spots like that. One of them is called the Devil's Sea Zone, or the Dragon's Triangle, if you want to be fancy. It's over in the Pacific Ocean near Japan, and just like the Bermuda Triangle, people have reported all sorts of weird stuff happening there. But here's the thing, there isn't a whole lot of solid evidence to back up those claims. Then there's the Michigan Triangle, which is right in the middle of Lake Michigan. Apparently, ships and aircraft have gone missing there too. But before we jump to any conclusions, let's take a step back and think about it. Some skeptics say that the number of disappearances isn't really that unusual when you consider how much traffic there is in that area. So maybe it's just a case of people being careless or having some bad luck. Now let's switch our attention back to Santiago Flight 513. Well, some people think that's exactly what it is, a made-up tale. Critics have pointed out similarities between the story and an old episode of The Twilight Zone, where a plane travels through time. And get this, the whole Santiago Flight 513 thing first showed up in those sensational tabloid magazines known for stretching the truth. So here's the deal with the whole Santiago Flight 513 thing. Some folks believe it actually happened and claim there's some shady government stuff going on. They think the lack of concrete evidence is all part of a big cover-up or some top secret information being kept under wraps. On the other hand, there are those who think the whole story is just a bunch of made-up stories. They see it as nothing more than a wild tale that got people's attention thanks to those sensational tabloids. Now here's an interesting twist. There's another incident that's kind of similar. Back in the 1970s, there was this flight 727 from National Airlines that vanished over the Gulf of Mexico. Poof, gone from the radar screens. But get this, it reappeared later on, and everyone on board was clueless about any time passing. Pretty trippy, right? Now, the details of that case are still up for debate, just like Santiago Flight 513. But they share some common elements, like the sudden disappearance, no distress signals, and the whole mysterious comeback thing. But let's face it, despite these captivating stories, including Santiago Flight 513, we're still left scratching our heads. There's a major challenge here, and that's the lack of solid evidence. The whole controversy around these stories just goes to show that we need to put our critical thinking caps on and dig deeper to separate the truth from the made-up stuff when it comes to these mysterious disappearances and reappearances. If you've enjoyed this video, then do give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this.